evaluate limit a state approaches zero of sine of three theta times sine of eight theta divided by theta square. Solution, we're gonna use two properties. Property one is this, the limit as theta approaches zero of sine of theta over theta is equal to one. Very well-known property, right? Property two is going to be an extension of this property, which says that the limit as theta approaches zero of sine of k times theta, a multiple of theta, divided by k times theta is equal to one, as long as k not equal to zero. So multiple of theta, right? And the reason why this is true is because think about it, if theta approaches zero, k times theta also approaches zero, right? And applying a simple change of variable, we get this second result. All right, now we have to take the limit as theta approaches zero of sine of three theta multiplied by sine of eight theta all over theta is square. So the trick is to break it down, break it down. Break it down as the limit as theta approaches zero of sine of three theta over theta multiplied by sine of a theta over theta. Now, I wish I had the number three here so I can apply property two for k equal three, right? The number three is not there. However, I can make it appear there by multiplying this fraction, numerator and denominator by, by three, right? The value of the fraction will not change, but it will allow me to apply property two. Similarly here, eight is not there. I wish I had an eight here, it's not there, but I can make it appear there by multiplying this fraction, numerator and denominator by the number eight. Okay, good. So now, now what we do is we apply this so-called constant multiple rule for limits after distributing our limited over, right? Our limit over. So what we're gonna have after, again, we distribute the limited over and we take out our constant, the following, three times limit as theta approaches zero of sine of three theta over three theta, times, times, remember we're distributing the limit over the factors, the limit of this part, but once you take the constant eight out, out or outside the limit, what you're gonna be left with is this, a times limit of sine of a theta over a theta as theta approaches zero. And now this is going to be three, this limit of sine of three theta over three theta as theta approaches zero for k equal three, according to property two, should be just equal to one, right? Equal to one times, times eight, eight, multiplied by the limit of sine of a theta divided by a theta as theta approaches zero. For k equal eight, applying property two, this should be just equal to one, right? And three times one, three times eight, 24 times one, 24. That is all. Thank you for watching.